Hello, pilots of the internet, and welcome to Foldable Flight. In this video, I am teaching you how to fold Striker, which is an absolutely exceptional jet designed by Alex of the YouTube channel, Used Alex. Now, if you're not familiar with his work, he makes a ton of complex and absolutely brilliant jets, but I have chosen his easiest design to share with you today. Now, as you can see, Stryker is an absolutely amazing looking paper airplane with these very cool diamond shaped wings and an awesome angle change in its tail fin. I love both of those features, but my favorite is the afterburner on the back of the plane. It just looks absolutely amazing. And not only does it look amazing, but it flies very well too, making this just an absolute all-star. So with all that said, let's see this plane in flight and then I'm gonna teach you how to fold it. All you'll need in order to fold this paper airplane is a square sheet of paper. You can see I am using a beautiful sheet of tissue foil paper for the sake of this tutorial, but you can really use anything from thin paper to thick paper. The thinner it is, the cleaner your model will be. The thicker it is, the faster and farther it will fly. So if you have printer paper on hand and want to use that, you can just fold the top edge to the left edge and then cut away this additional portion and you'll see you're going to end up with a square sheet of paper. So if that's what you have on hand and want to use, Go ahead and prepare your sheet of paper. And with that, we're going to begin actually by folding from this corner to this corner, and that's going to create a crease that goes from this corner to that corner. And once I do that, I'll go ahead and open my sheet up, and I'm actually going to fold the opposite corners together as well create a crease that goes from these two corners. Okay, and now I'll open that up and fold this top point to this center point of our paper. Crease that, fold this top, or not this top edge, this top line here to land on that line. So you can see as I do this, I'm making sure my point lands on my center crease and my line here is lining up with the other horizontal line I have. Crease across the top. And now I'm going to open this up once again and fold my top point to the crease I just made. And once you've done that, you can close this back up. And now we're going to fold this top edge here into the center crease, but you're going to want to leave just a millimeter or so just a slight gap between the edge of this layer and that center crease. And once you do one side, just do the same exact thing on the other side, trying to maintain symmetry. And it should look like this. Now we're going to fold this edge here to that edge there, not all the way to the center crease again. And you're really going to want to control this layer as you close that up so it doesn't slide at all. And as you fold it, it should look something like this. And then we'll go ahead and do the other side as well. So your plane should look like this. Now I'm going to actually just unfold these layers to show you something. You can see on this layer here, we have a horizontal crease and that's going to be one of our reference points. I want to fold these layers here from that point to this corner down here. And you could grab both layers at the same time or just do one at a time as I will here. So I'm just looking for that point right there where that horizontal crease is intersecting the center, folding down to that corner, just like so. And now that I have that edge, I'll just fold this right over that same edge. just like so. And now I'll do the same exact thing on the other side. Okay. 
Okay, so your plane should look like this. And now I'm going to fold this edge here right to that edge there, just on this topmost layer. And I'll do the same thing over here. And your plane should look like that. And now I'm going to open this right side up and I want to fold this edge right here to that edge there. And that's going to create a really long, narrow crease here. Just like this. And then you're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. So we'll open it up and fold this edge right here to that edge right there. Okay, and your plane should look like this. Now we can go ahead and close this layer up just like so. Close that like that. And now fold out on this layer, fold out on this layer. And I'm going to actually leave the other layers alone for now and flip it over. And I want to fold this point down as far as it will go, which will make a crease from this point here to that point there. And now I'm going to fold this point to that point right there. Now that I've got this crease, I'm going to fold, pulling that crease up to land along this back edge, just like so. And then I will go ahead and fold this crease to land on that edge, which I'll rotate to make sure that I get this nice and accurate. Okay, this next step is actually probably the hardest step. And basically, I'm going to start just by reversing this center crease here so that it becomes a valley crease just on this section of the paper. And I know it's a little bit odd to do that. So I'm just prepping it by doing that. And now basically what I want to do, if I open this up, I'm actually folding from this point right here to that point right there. But the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to kind of pull this pocket open and just kind of pull it until it catches right in this corner and direct that crease right to this point right here. And that kind of creates this bulge in the paper. And that's exactly what we want, that's fine. And now I'm done having that in that valley fold portion, I'm going to make it a mountain fold again and kind of pinch it like this and do the same thing on the other side, folding right to this corner up here and right to this point here. Okay, and that's great. We're going to just save it just like that and flip it forward. Now, when I flip it back over, we can fold this right out over that existing edge, do the same thing on this side, and we're now going to prepare to jet fold. So I'll open the left side up, and I'm going to fold just from the center point right along this edge down to that corner. So I'm just kind of rolling this just like that, and I want to keep this nice and tight right to that point down there. And you can see I've made a crease right there on the reverse side. And now I'll open that up and do the same thing over here, just rolling right along that edge. Just right to the center. And now when I close it back into this orientation, it should not be hard at all to turn this whole section into a valley fold, right like that, and bring it together in what is called a jet fold. So I'm just swinging that in just like so. I'm gonna make sure 
this tissue foil paper can have a hard time reversing creases sometimes. So I think you'll have an even an easier time than me here as we reverse that center crease. And you can lie your plane down just like this. Now I'm going to open it up just enough to swing the paper forward. And I'm swinging that whole triangle forward and I want to fold on these little diagonal creases we have that we made before, those little creases. Make sure that your paper's folding right along those. And that this is a mountain fold. So it should look like that. No, that was a little tricky. But now we can begin to make our tail. And to do that, I'm just grabbing these layers like so and kind of pulling this spine up in the center. And you can see from the side, I can kind of swing that tail into the position I want and I can pull that forward if I need to. And basically it's just a, a visual game. You, you position the tail exactly where you want it at the size you want it. So I'm gonna make my tail stand so that the back edge is vertical like this, but I wanna shrink it just a little bit. And to do that, I'm going to back off there on how far it's pulled forward. And then swing it into that position right there. And now in order to actually place it in that, you can see on the inside, these are kind of rounded creases right now. I want to push those flat and actually give those nice sharp creases. Okay, so now we have a beautiful tail for our plane. At this point, I'm ready to fold my wings up. So I'll fold that one up like so. I'll flip the paper over, fold this one up. And now we just have two things left to do. We're going to uh, lock our plane together and then create the afterburner. So let's go ahead and get these layers out of the way. That one on that side, this one on this side. And now looking at it from this orientation here, I'm going to fold this short little back edge right to that pocket right there, that little edge. Just folding it right like so. And now I'm going to roll that whole thing in one more time. And when I do this, I want to tuck the layer all the way up into this fuselage. So that should go up in and to this point up here. Just like so. So now when I close that back up, that locks everything together in its three dimensional shape. So we're doing great. Can see the plane really taking shape at this point. So now how do we shape this afterburner? Well, I would recommend starting with the side um, that is on the same side as the lock you just made. And you kind of hold the layer right like this and just wrap it, tucking these layers here into the other side of the plane, just like so. And to do that, you can even apply a crease on part of this layer right like so, and we'll be able to at the end here round that really nicely, but you can see that's already kind of holding. So now I will go ahead and do it in the opposite direction. And to get this one to hold, you're going to need to apply a bit of a crease here, and you're going to need to kind of flatten this and round this circle a bit. You can see it's not totally holding until I get this crease far enough back here and this shaped enough there and then it should hold for you and now all that's left to do well i said it should hold and now it's on it's not holding <laughs> all that's left to do is to kind of flatten our wings and so what i would do if i were you is put this right at the edge of a table and brush the extra slack out of the wing and do that for both wings and with that you are done with this plane as you throw it you might find that you need a little bit of up elevator if you do, you can bend the back edges up just slightly. And if it's spiraling counterclockwise, you can give it a little right rudder. Or if it's turning left, right rudder will do the same thing for you. And the same is true in the opposite. So if it's spiraling 
clockwise or turning right, you're going to want to give it a little left rudder. So with all of that said, thank you so much for watching this video and good luck flying your plane. Thank you so much to all of my patrons who are supporting this channel and making these videos possible. You can become the pilot of your favorite foldable flight paper airplane and your name will appear next to the paper airplane you choose in each of my YouTube videos. So head over to patreon.com slash foldable flight and join the foldable fleet today.